I'm Betsy Rowe. I'm the museum educator at the Sabatini Art Gallery. And today we're doing felting. We're going to felt a small pocket with a little flap. And uh, I put like a I put like a snap or a button under there, and these can hold all different kinds of little goodies. So you can see the ones I've made. So felting, uh, it's a wet process, and I start by setting up my station. I like to contain the mess if you're not working in a wet studio. I'm using a, a lid or a tray that will contain water, and then I put down a towel. And the next things, um, tools we use in felting are a piece of bubble wrap with the bubbles down. And uh, for this process, we're doing a resist. So the resist is just a piece of thick plastic, and I've um, drawn a line where the flap is going to be. And I'll show you how that's done. To uh, start, we are going to do wisps of felt, of wool. This is merino wool, and it's very soft, and it felts to itself pretty easy, but we don't want it to felt in clumps. We want it to be a nice, smooth, even fabric. So to start, we are going to do what I like to call drifts. And so I take my whole hand and I pull just a small, you can see one came off too big. I want to separate that out a little. Just small drifts, and I'm going to start laying them down. This is the side we're going to do the flap on. I'm overlapping the edge of the plastic template, the template resist, and I'm going to continue to add these drifts by overlaying them and just keep going until I get, I'm going um, side to side right now and this is the first layer so you can see it's very thin. I want to do thin layers so that it um, doesn't, so that it felts into a fabric. And I'm going to start with a, a little bit different color. My hands are really dry. I've got to add a little bit of water to them. This dry weather makes everything very staticky. So um, I'm blending in a little of this red. I like to use a lot of different color and I'm just gonna add it in spots. And again, I'm overlapping all of the edges. Just uh, about an, an inch, half inch to an inch. And I'm also overlapping these little drifts and it doesn't have to be, a, it's not gonna be solid this, this layer. We're gonna do three layers. So this is, I'm gonna add a little red down here just to blend that in a little more. And that's layer one. So the next layer I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna use a different color because I think it's fun to have, like I say, mixing color. And this time I'm gonna go from top to bottom and again, overlapping my template. And you'll start to see a little more coverage and I wanna overlap each drift so that we don't have any gaps. You start to see that it's filling in here, taking Fluff that out a little bit. I'm going to add a little more up here. The amount of wool you use determines how thick your piece will be. And we want these to be kind of light little pieces so that um, we'll use them. If they're too thick and heavy, it's kind of hard to put into a purse or carry with you. of see I can see my coverage as I go along here and again I want to make sure to get those off the edge enough so let that's uh, layer two and now I'm going to go back to um, layer three is side to side 
So I'm going to go back to my magenta and I'm going to, the finer you can get these drifts, the nicer your fabric will be, the more even your fabric, felted fabric will be. So you can see that's going to add, that orange is going to, coral is going to add some nice contrast. Thin that one out a little bit. Add that on top. I'm going to come back to the red just to give it a little splash variation. These, when it makes a, a hook like this, it's it's important to get those fibers back out again. Um, wool is hair, and uh, of course of sheep, and if you know from your own split ends uh, that, which you probably don't have any, but when you do get them, that hair uh, has scales on it. And so what we're going to be doing is um, opening up those scales so that each of these wool fibers can lock together. And that's what makes these fluffy wool pieces into fabric. I'm going to come in and add just a little more of this to that red was kind of thin. Okay, so that is layer one. I have prepared um, soap and water. Warm water is good, and I like ivory soap. Any any dish soap is good. Anything or soap without bleach in it. You don't want to lose your color. So um, there's many ways to do this. I'm just going to dribble. I'm going to dribble my, you can use a, um, a shaker bottle. Um, they have people make things like instruments like that. I just dribble. I want to get it wet enough to allow me to do some, start some, some connections. And so, with the wet, I'm just going to push that in a little bit. And then, um, without too much to do, I'm going to pull my bubble wrap over, flip it, and open it back up. bubble wrap is not quite big enough for that. So I want to make sure that I have, you can see on the template that I have a nice edge here. Um, so what I want to do is fold these edges in over the template on the bottom and two sides. And this is our flap. So we're going to work the edges. We're going to pull up that flap and we're going to just fold those edges underneath. And this is sometimes I make an asymmetrical flap so you can um, decide kind of how you want to do that. But this time I'm just going to go with this and see what happens. And then I'll put that um, template back down. This is where an extra towel comes in handy. I, my hands are wet so I'm going to dry those off so I don't and I'm also going to move it over a little bit to the edge of this. There we go. Okay. And I am going to do the same thing on this side. That's one side and the flap done. So I'm going to go with um, some more of the orange, this, cor this coral I'm calling it. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make drifts side to side, three layers. So I'm going side to side. nice drift. And I want to overlap again. You can see that overlap is then our becomes our seam. And that's what locks the two sides together and the 
plastic resist then allows you to make, create that pocket. The sides won't stick together, but I want to make sure to come over the edges. Take your time on this one. This is the most important step. I, I don't need to come over the top of the flap edge, so I'm just going to that line on my template. So that's layer one, and then I'm going to do layer two. Going from top to bottom. I like to spread this out so I can get a, a nice handful of drift. gold. That might be kind of a fun difference. Make, both sides do not have to be the same. Add a little interest. Okay, now that's layer two. Go back to the coral. And I'm going to go from side to side again. bit of red back in the center just for fun. Maybe a little, add a little of the magenta here to this side. Okay. We'll almost have this side three layers of the drifts. Okay, now I want to do the same, wet it. And again, I'm sprinkling, I don't wanna pour it on because uh, I don't wanna make holes in my drifts since I've gone to such trouble to make them nice and even. But I do wanna get it wet and Again, I am going to, I think I'll just work it a little this way. And flip it. So I have these, I've gone over the edges here. So those fold over carefully and that will complete our seam from back to front. Now I want to add it, I wanted to add just a little bit of decoration to this just to give it a little fun. So I am going to put um, I'm going to kind of make a couple of little circles, just very light. light little circles. I like, circles are fun to make and fun to see. And then I'm going to put a drift to attach it, attach each circle. Whoops. That'll be a little bit of a decoration. Now I can kind of even up those edges. And I'll make sure I'm on the bubble wrap. Bubbles down. Add a little more water to get that blue down. Now comes the fun. That piece is just too nice. I 
one to look at the front row. All right. Now comes the fun of felting. So what we're what we're doing, we've opened up those scales with the warm water and the and the soap allows us to slide those scales together so they lock into place and form that fabric. So now we are going to start by just doing some pressing. Go light at first. The bubbles uh, allow that to kind of interaction to be, um, uh, not you're not pushing on just one spot. Allows it to be more um, overall. And then we'll flip it and we'll go again, just lightly pressing. And we'll do this about, oh, about 10 times each side. And this starts the action. And then the next step is to roll it. We're going to roll it with the bubble wrap. The next step is to roll it, and we are going to use the towel, and we're going to roll it as a bundle, everything in place, not too tight. And then this is where the action comes in. So I use my body to push on it. I'm going to start, start with a little pressure, pushing, and then rolling. Push and roll, push and roll, push and roll. And we're going to open it up. We're going to flip it over and we're going to roll it from the other direction on the other side. And this time we're going to add a little more pressure. So we're going to use your body weight to press into and roll it. Roll it. Open it up. Flip it over. Roll it a different way, side to side. And now I can start adding some weight to it, at least some pressure. Flip it, roll it side to side again, a different way. do that for a minute or two. Uh, as long as better. And then um, I take the towel off so I'm, and I just roll it in the bubble wrap. If you are popping bubbles, you're going too hard. But at this point, you can squeeze it, roll it and squeeze it, roll it and squeeze it, keep working it, keep working it, open it up. Turn it over, roll it a different way, roll it, squeeze and roll, squeeze and roll, you're working that action, that's getting those fibers to work together. It's, felting wasn't necessarily an easy job. Uh, the, in Tibet, they make a lot of felt for their yurts, and they actually have rollers that go behind horses. And so some of that action is done by that, by the horses pulling those rollers. Okay, and now you can start to see, okay, that guy's not sticking so well. Let's see if we can get him in. He may not. 
not be those I'm just gonna take this. But you can see this. Okay, so a way to test if your piece is felted is to pinch it, lift it up a little. You can see it's still a little soft. So I will continue to do it in bubble wrap. And then um, when I am, I'm gonna add a little more water to it. Again, that water is what really allows everything to slip well. So at this point, um, there's a few things that are still not well felted. I can rub it against itself. And you can see it's starting to, you can feel it starting to shrink against that against that template, but you want to keep that template in there. I'm tired of rubbing, you can just take and squeeze it again. on this side. So the last step is to, you can see I have my pocket here. And the last step is to take it over to the sink and I roll it up and I run it under hot water and rinse it by squeezing and squeezing and squeezing, roll it, re-roll it, roll it a different way until you have it all rinsed. And then you lay it out to dry. There's water on there, but you kind of stretch it a just a little bit there to lay it out to dry and make sure that you have the, kind of the shape you want. And voila. It's a pocket. Thank you.